Hi hey guys, it's Lisa with the Barn Yard Chicken, and I wanted to do a flip through of some things that I made. And um, first of all, I made this um, recipe um, album, and um, it's pretty thick and chunky. And this is the back. Anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please comment below. And um, anyway, the people who love to eat are always the best people. Anyway, and I put different types of scrapbook paper. This was from a kitchen themed um, paper pad. And then I put some of these uh, recipe cards I got from the Dollar Tree in there. And this is more scrapbook paper. And um, I, I can't remember if these were from the Dollar Tree or if I got them someplace else. And this is more of that paper pad paper that was the kitchen theme. And um, another recipe card. Every other one is a recipe card and... Um, a piece of scrapbook paper and you can take a picture of your uh, what you make or you can take notes you can turn this over the back of this is plain and um, there's also index cards behind each one to write more tips tricks or uh, instructions on in case you need more space you can take a picture of the party that you had with the recipe that you made. And, um, anyway, see, is that, that adorable? It has little pots and casserole dishes. And there's another recipe card. And, um, I just thought these matched. This was yellow and this paper had dots on it. So, yeah. So each one of them that's a mixer every other one and like I said you can uh, I put the little index cards back here so you could take more notes or um, instructions or tips or tricks or you could even um, you know do some journaling and stuff on what you use the recipe for, how you use the recipe, a special event, or something like that. Anyway, so um, I just got these books from the Dollar Tree. I believe there are 48 pages in these books. And uh, um, so, yeah, they're basically like that every other page. I'm getting close to the end. And then I put this one this direction. I don't know why. I guess because it was the end of the book. And then when you turn it over. And best catch up. Anyway, I made two of these. And the other one I only had half the paper in. I think I just had recipe cards in there. I don't think that I had uh, the scrapbook paper in there. And I sold it for $7.50. And um, then I have this book here, and it has scrapbook paper on it, and, um, and I have this ribbon. <laughs> it's supposed to be in the middle, but anyway. And every other page, I believe, has scrapbook paper. And this is just like a little photo album. Okay, so I think it's every four pages. Every four pages has um, a journaling card or some type of scrapbook paper. And with the journaling cards, you can flip them over. And there's some other design on the other side. So yeah, like every four pages is a different, is a piece of scrapbook paper or journaling card. So, and... Um, So that one has two. <laughs> and, and then this the back. It's just 
just a little photo album. Here's another photo album I made, Picture Perfect. And then uh, this is the back, Today, Tomorrow, and Forever. And uh, it also has ribbon. And um, that says Perfect. It was from this paper uh, line. Anyway, this was individual sheets of scrapbook paper that I bought from Hobby Lobby and uh, it has glitter on it and so I believe every four pages has um, something and this particular page uh, here has the scrapbook paper and then there is another journaling card here on top and a paper clip so you can do journaling add photos and then this is, um, I added this um, tag on here. I was just trying to decorate them a little bit. And this may be a path, this may be where you can slip something in there. And then I put this little sticker from the Dollar Tree. It's three dimensional. And, um, sorry, I'm blocking the light. This is a stamp. I probably got it from Hobby Lobby. And uh, I stamped that on more scrapbook paper. And then, um, I don't know if this is a tuck spot or not, because once I started making them, I started making tuck spots. But I can't remember. No, it doesn't feel like it's a tuck spot. But some of them do have tuck spots in the later versions. And... Um, this is this is just clipped on there so you can journal on here but if you don't want to journal on here you can just unclip it put a picture in the middle or whatever you'd like to do and um, there is some more scrapbook paper and this is double-sided scrapbook paper so you can turn it over if you don't like this this I believe could be a stamp um, I think that's a stamp and then um, this is scrapbook paper with another piece of scrapbook paper on the top. It has lines on it, so you could do journaling. And then this is the back. And then this is, you know, the cover. And the way, and then this, this one's Christmas. And I kind of layered these. It's got three different pieces of scrapbook paper. And then um, I've kind of layered this. And you can add a picture or journal on here. And, um, and I think I like that word. And, um, <laughs> anyway, this is, I believe, a double tuck spot. You can tuck things here. You can tuck things here. And then, um, all you have to do is I have these tags. You can write things on these tags. You can use them as bookmarkers. You can use them in another project, whatever you want. I was just, um trying to be creative I like these colors they're really pretty and um, so I just stuck them in here you can put them anywhere in the book you want and uh, this here I believe this other one is a tuck spot as well it might not be but it's possible that it is so anyway just moving right along so I believe every fourth page again and all the books have um, something on them this is scrapbook paper with another white piece of cardstock on the top you can journal or add photos and on this one um, I made like a photo mat you can either write on here or add a photo and then I have some more tags This is just one tag, and this is a tuck spot. So, I figured it was, <laughs> but I wasn't sure. That's probably why I put the tag in there, so I'd know it was a tuck spot. And this is a tuck spot, and then here's two more tags. You can either uh, write on the back of these tags or use these tags on a gift somewhere else. And um, this is another piece of scrapbook paper with a uh, some white cardstock on it, so you can use it as a photo mat. And this is the same, and then this is the back. 
and so we have this one is another Christmas one and it's also layered this is uh, two pieces of scrapbook paper I try to make like um, a different design and then I have them stacked the Santa this is probably a tuck spot but at the very least you can write or put a photo there and this is another scrapbook paper with and um, I'm gonna have to redo these because I can't stop saying that so here is a tuck spot with some tags and also this one is with a tag you can also put a picture here or write on there if you wish and here you can um, put a photo or write this one has a pocket with some journaling cards and this one has a photo mat and a tuck spot this is the back page this one here is skateboard themed I made two of these the other one I made was really full and chunky because I made it from a nephew who likes skateboarding and I had enough stuff to make two so uh, his is really full and this one is just like these that I made I put this paper on here so you could journal or write um, something on here. This is my book, uh, 19, uh, 2018. And um, I have this, this is layered. Some paper pack that I had had some sports things in it but there wasn't very many skateboard related things I took all the skateboard related things out and put it in these two books this is a note paper with lines so you can journal on it and this one here has some washi tape you can write on here this is um, airmail like for the post office Oh, this one's really cool. It's like a wall. And it's got splatter on it. And this here was some type of graffiti. And a, this is black cardstock with some glittery mist stuff on it. This one says gone to the skate park with some tags and this has vans it says vans I can't tell whatever else it says but it looks like skateboard it's on there I can't tell because I have it all covered up but I know when I was a kid vans was the big thing that skateboarders used and I, vans had just came out when I was a kid and I just layered some stuff on here you can do some journaling here this is a photo mat in the back skateboard is not a crime skateboarding is not a crime but you shouldn't be doing it in my parking lot <laughs> anyway laugh out loud um santa claus santa claus this is the back it has some ribbon you can journal on here it has lines or you can use it as a photo mat um, here's another one you can use as a photo mat or it has lines on it as well here is another one that I have a photo mat on you can also write on this one but it does have a little bit of a texture and you can uh, put something else over the top of it if you would like to write on it. I'm not sure if it's a tuck spot. I made this a photo mat and I used it. I did it white in case you wanted to write on it. I just like the little deer. I thought it was cute. Here's another one. 
the photo mat, photo mat, photo mat, photo mat, the end. And lastly, I have this little girl. It is stacked. This has um, scrapbook paper, scrapbook paper, and this is a little cut apart. And it has a little bitty um, three-dimensional sticker on there. I'm not even in the frame. And this is um, just stacked. There we go. It's got some little pencils. You can write on that or use it as a photo mat. This one here looks like a tuck spot. It has two journaling cards in it. It is, um, you know, one of those kind of journaling cards. So I'll just put it in here and I can move it later. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Roses. Oh, that's pretty. And this one has two journaling cards in there. It has a little pocket. And this one says perfect. It has some little pencils. You can write on it. So it has a photo mat and that's the back. Oh, did we see this one? I don't know if we've seen this one or not. So, um, yeah, we must have seen it. That's, yeah, I must have just, yeah, I'd show this one to you. Okay, guys, it's late. I'm tired. I don't know what I'm talking about. I hope you enjoyed this. This is Lisa with the Barnyard Chicken, and I will put some links below to where I got inspiration for these. And um, this one here I got from Lyric Lover 810, I believe. And I will link her channel below. Sending all my love and my hugs. This is Lisa with the Barnyard Chicken. I'm out of here.